Hello, I'm Mark Robinson. In this brief poster, I'm just going to talk about some Colombian rock art. Now, it's called Experiments to Recreate Handprints with Designs Found on Early Rock Art Panels in Colombia, South America. I've been working on a project down in, uh, in Colombia, looking at early humans in the landscape. But one of the things we found is incredible rock art. So it's an experiment we just did with the Experimental Archaeology class here at University of Exeter. And it's just a quick look into the practicalities of the rock art and maybe some implications from that. So just a bit of context for it. So down in the Colombian Amazon, in the Serrania La Lindosa, we've been working, we've been found uh, these incredible rock art panels, including a lot of new panels we're finding with a real range of designs from geometric um, designs, but human figures in various um, activities from dancing to hunting. We've got extinct megafauna depicted, really showing it's this early date to it. There's plants as well as the handprints we're going to look at. Now, our excavations associated with these contexts are actually showing that uh, we've got dates coming from about 12,500 or so BP. So this is some of the first people to get into South America and certainly some of the earliest people to get into Amazonia. So it's really fundamental to the genesis of art and certainly Amazonian art. Now, as I said, there's a lot of handprints within these artwork. We do found the ochre associated with them, so we know it's being made out of ochre pigment, being you know, ground down, mixed with some kind of water, and then uh, applied onto the surface. Now, the handprints, there's a range of them, but a lot of them include designs. And that was really fascinating to us, the fact they had some of the designs on there. We wanted to look at maybe how some of these uh, practicalities of making these um, handprints would work. So we did a lot of the experiments, and we discussed a lot with the class, and thought about the various uh, factors which we could control or which may uh, control the final result. So some of the things we looked at is the actual paste itself, what we're using as a pigment and the various recipes from uh, moisture content and so forth, down to the moisture of the actual uh, medium that's been put on to the rock surface, or we were using different papers, we would sometimes wet it and see if it actually absorbed more of the pigment. And then things like the design creation, we looked at a few different methods which could result in different um, outputs. So a quick one just on some of the pigment itself. One of the things we really found was that it dries out very, very quickly. So the thicker the pigment and the less watered down it is, you get a much darker color, whereas actually the watered down variety have a much more vibrant color. But the thicker one is also, it just dries so quickly in a hand, it starts to flake off. That um, it's, a, it's a real problem for then transferring. You can see on the, the image on the far right here, it was done in a quite a short time but the pigment wasn't thick enough on our hands to where it could actually retain the moisture so it dried and by the time we got to the wall it had dried we couldn't really uh, transfer the pigment or some of the other ones where we either put a lot more thick pigments so it's kind of retaining that core moisture or we added more water or then added spray to our hands afterwards a lot more vibrant a lot easier to transfer the the pigment so an interesting thing when we start to look at how potentially this was done actually at the rock shelter in antiquity. Were they using a much more moist um, pigment and how they're carrying it? Or were they adding water, a separate thing, to help with the transfer? Now, the design was obviously one of the key things. And we wanted to look at how you could make these intricate designs. And one of the things we really found is that all of our hands, essentially, have a big dip in the middle of the palm and also around the base of the fingers, which is making it very difficult to get any paint across. Even if we put pressure behind and try to force those parts of our hand on, we basically couldn't get them to touch the surface. So that's interesting as far as how they'd maybe top up or touch up the, the pictures. Maybe they put the handprint on and then paint it in those little gaps, the missing gaps. And we tried a different uh, type of design and how to get the design across. We tried things like masking, either using some kind of wax onto our hands so it wouldn't transfer the pigment, or looking at things like holding some raffia, some other kind of material in our hand which would stop the pigment transferring. It could work, you could see the little sections here that some of that raffia really did get in the way of the paint, but at the same time, it's very hard to control that design, and especially with the palm uh, not really transferring. Scraping works really well. There was a problem again keeping it moist and we had to spritz at the end but you could actually see quite a good transfer of paint between a scrape design so you paint everything on first of all your full coverage and then just scrape off your design it actually worked fairly well although you had to be careful that it wouldn't dry out so you had to be quick or add more water the other way was likely painting we had just painted the design onto our hand transferred it in this case it dried out too quickly we were too slow trying to be accurate on the paint but in some other cases it worked quite well 
So a real range of um, effects we're finding. So ultimately, it's just a little fun uh, project in class, but it can tell us a lot about what was going on. When we return to the site and try and look more closely at some of these handprints and the rest of the designs out there, we can start to think more about the practicalities of how they actually constructed these incredible designs and looking at things like their moisture control, how they potentially carry pigments. So thank you very much.